Hi, I'm Beck, currently completing Year 12, and I play competitive sport, both netball and volleyball. With the cancellation of the Commonwealth Games in Victoria, what do you think it would look like for young athletes of the region, like myself, who aspire to play in these bigger sporting competitions? All right, I'm going to put this to Leo as the Victorian here. Mm. Tell me what you think. Representing on the panel. Yeah. Represent, um, yeah. <laughs> I, look, it, it's obviously going to be tough, and especially knowing just how... Um, how sudden this cancellation was. I mean, so many groups uh, didn't know about it, you know, did they? They um, found out as the press conference was, you know, had a 9.30 the other day from, from Dan Andrews. Um, it is going to be tough for young athletes and I guess, uh, you know, there's so many um, levels of, of, of competition, um, but especially for those who might be even the most successful, who are trying to get into something even like the Olympics and they are looking for something you know, on home soil, especially for like a rural athlete, maybe in the mm. in the areas that were supposed to host all these events, like Shepparton, and like Geelong, Ballarat, um, it, it's going to be tough for them. They're not going to have that. And even those who are too young, like you know, primary school age kids, who want to see um, professional athletes and young and up and coming athletes, um, uh, uh, you know, near them and able to watch them, you know, they're not going to be able to see that if they're in those um, rural areas. And we're really hoping for it. It's obviously a you know, a huge debate regarding what's happened. Um, and again, you know, mm. extremely sudden. Um, but it, it, you know, probably, you know, doesn't just help, it probably doesn't help those, those young athletes at all. Mm. Laura, you're a monarchist, I believe. So how do you think this might impact our relationship with the rest of the Commonwealth? Well, I think the sudden cancellation is quite embarrassing for not only Dan Andrews, but Australia, because we've promised this Olympics um, and now it's cancelled and obviously that's going to impact particularly the regions of Victoria. I'm from New South Wales, but um, from my understanding, a lot of the events were going to be held in um, regional Vic uh, Victoria um, and with that comes new sporting facilities and tourism. Um, so I do feel bad. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of... Um, uh, sorry, uh, the monarchy? Yeah, the monarchy. OK. Um, well... As a, as well, should we, should we be part of the Commonwealth in the first place then, you know? Well, I think when it comes to the monarchy, we shouldn't fix something that's not broken. I think that the way that Australia's governor and governor generals work is effective as it is, and I believe having an apolitical um, head figure is really effective in uh, doing the job, which is, like, signing the bills and um, more uh, so um, representing Australia internationally. And I think the job that the Governor-General does uh, right now is quite effective. And uh, first the ashes, now this. Is this, a, is this an issue? Is it a bad look for I'm Australia? I'm just sitting here going, if she's quiet, nobody will ask her about sport. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Beck, Beck, were you planning on... Are you, like, in, at that level of competition? Um, not so much, but I do have a lot of um, role models, especially mm. in the netball area, that I was really looking forward to watching. Mm. Yeah. Um, especially since, you know, netball and volleyball are really big parts of my life. Yeah. So I think personally, like what Leo said, actually seeing those professional athletes play in the home state that I'm in would have been so amazing. Yeah. And not only like playing, it would have been amazing, but definitely watching them on. It's a mm. big inspiration. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Does anybody think that the money uh, is well spent elsewhere? Does anybody have that opinion? Look, yeah. I, <laughs> if, it's, if it truly costs $7 billion, and I think that's being contested at the moment, yeah. I think there probably are larger priorities, to be honest. That's not to say I think there's huge benefits that come out of the Commonwealth Games and, indeed, all other events. Even I'm from Brisbane. We've got the Brisbane 2032 Olympics coming up. and I mean, that's going to cost a lot. Oh, yeah. well. <laughs> and I think there probably should be some savings on some things. But it's great that the government, mm. the state and federal government are supporting that. Mm. And I think the true importance of these events, not only for the athletes, but it's also the legacy and what yeah. they're able to create for those host locations. And you could just imagine what, how it, these, the Commonwealth Games would have impacted regional Victoria and all the opportunities that would have been created out of it. I think it's a real shame that it's been lost and hopefully we can find a compromise and a solution can be found so that the 2026 Commonwealth Games mm -hmm. can be hosted and those athletes can... Yeah ultimately show I, off their abilities to the world. I hate to take up more time and be as quick as yeah. I can and Please, I risk ahead. a slightly terrible um, comparison here. But I do... I, 
it is a large sum of money. Mm. And if we also are questioning the cost of putting on the referendum, which is close to half a billion dollars, and then we're talking about something which maybe is up to six billion dollars, um, I, I mean, I'm not contesting the fact that there are athletes who were going to be part of this and that's, you know, it's something to be reckoned with and, and hopefully there is something that can, that can be figured out. Um, I do find that the Commonwealth Games are tokenistic. Uh, they're, a, they're a way of pandering to the idea that we are kind of a united Commonwealth, we're all fair and equal when it's mm -hmm. just not the case practically. <laughs> in the